Hello, thank you for joining me. Oh, uh, well, I enjoyed season two of Star Trek Lower Decks. I think season two is better than season one. Um, and I'm glad we are getting a season three of Lower Decks. I will try to do like some videos for season three and everything. Um, I was shocked, shocked by a few uh, things from the season finale of season two, like the memory, uh, that memory of someone putting the implant in and also Freeman being, Captain Freeman being arrested for uh, uh, having a bomb explode on a planet and everything. I think um, the when season three comes, the first episode is going to be a mixture of a trial and a mixture of some of her crew trying to get evidence to prove her innocence. And I think what happened was a few episodes back, that Potland that was on the Suidos, he planted evidence on the ship. Maybe the Klingons gave him a drive or something to plant something in the computer. I So, yeah, I think that. And I think um, on, like, the correct Klingons planted evidence against the Cerritos because the Cerritos was a thorn in their side uh, during um, the whole season and everything because they... The corrupt Klingons, they don't want peace. They want war and everything. And if uh, creating like fake explosives and fake conflicts and everything is a way to get war, then so be it. Um, yeah, I just, I can't wait for season three. Uh, I'm amazed of how many people they brought back to... Uh, be on lower decks in an in amazing form. Uh, I hope we get even more people in season three and maybe season four, if there's a season four, which I was hoping for. <laughs> and um, yeah, yeah, and it's uh, great. Uh, top people I would like to see in animated form pop on the Cerritos that hasn't been on the Cerritos on lower decks yet. Uh, Captain Jane Ray, Picard, and Seven of Nine. Off the top of my head. Um, it'd be nice to see those on it. And I think Freeman was once like a, on, a, like a lower deck herself, lower decker herself on like the Enterprise D or E with how um, she knows a lot of people that was on Enterprise and everything. Like that uh, captain uh, who was uh, instant on two episodes of The Next Generation is now captain. Uh, I feel like don't uh, that will explain everything as how she knows Riker and everything is... Like I said, I'm just would like to learn as much as possible and um, see what happens. Uh, well, Star Trek Prodigy is getting ready to pop up on Nickelodeon and Paramount Plus soon. Uh, if you guys don't have a Paramount Plus subscription, I recommend go get one and watch all these great uh, TV shows and movies. And some, a good portion of them has been taken off of services like Netflix and everything. So that way, they're exclusive to Paramount Plus. So, yeah, I'm just, I'm glad we gained all this Trek stuff. And I just can't wait to see where it goes from here. Until next time, this is Robert McMurr beaming off. See you soon.